The stench is said to have been overwhelming. Workers in hazmat gear digging their way through a mass burial site outside the city of Izum, southeast of Kharkiv, a region until recently held by Russian forces. They found body after body, laying each of them onto clean white bags and sealing them tightly. The count so far is more than 400 graves with a mix of soldiers, civilians, and children. Some of the dead apparently killed in an airstrike, others by appearance tortured. One body has the markings of a rope around the neck, its arms broken. Another has its hands tied behind its back, another with its ears severed. Each of these will be investigated, said the district governor, calling it a genocide of the Ukrainian people. A Ukrainian war crimes prosecutor, also on site today, said forensic experts will determine the facts of what happened and how they were killed. But Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is already demanding accountability from Vladimir Putin. Russia, he said, is leaving death behind it everywhere and must be held responsible. In a statement, Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie called it horrifying. The White House called it repugnant. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said this site and others are being studied closely. We're all working to build the evidence and document the atrocities that have been committed. And in many instances, these will amount to war crimes. With more bodies yet to be uncovered, the sobering work continues as wooden crosses stretch into the distance. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.